Yo, what's up everybody? It is currently Friday night and we are still on that grind, so call me a nerd for staying on a Friday night, but fuck it, man. I'm just trying to get a ton of content out for you guys. Uh, on some real stuff, I see a huge opportunity in YouTube and I'm putting my all into it while I have the chance because in less than a year, I'm going to graduate from high school and I'm going to have to make a decision with what I want to do with my life. And YouTube would be a dream job, so right now is grind season. Uh, I appreciate all of you who are with me right now. I have big plans with it, so I'm just going to keep grinding. Hopefully you guys stay with me and support me through. Last piece of advice before we get into the video, to everyone in middle school and high school, you guys have your entire lives to party, have fun, but if you come across a serious opportunity, take it at that very moment because that chance is very limited in terms of time. That opportunity might last a few days, a few months, but once it passes, you might never get it again. So. Just take it while you can, don't live life with regret, and uh, yeah, that's just a little bit of Friday inspiration, but let's get into the video already. So today's topic is quite controversial and has been discussed around the community for a while, and the question is, does Blackbeard ruin the concept of Rainbow Six Siege? I believe that there are going to be two split sides, those who approve of Blackbeard being removed and those who believe he should stay in the game. Just know that this video is my opinion and nothing else. The first and most obvious point is that this game is based off of a one-shot headshot kill, and Blackbeard completely breaks that rule. It gives the player an unfair advantage when peeking around corners because every single operator is susceptible to a headshot except for him, and this in itself breaks the concept of one-taps. People often say that it is easy to counter Blackbeard because all you have to do is drop shot, but in the higher ranks, the opponent has just as good or even better aim than you. At Platinum, Diamond, and Pro League levels, every player instinctively aims for headshots, and you can't predict when you're going to run into Blackbeard, and instinctively locking onto the head will do you no good. His shield is just going to block the shots. Now, an argument for someone who supports Blackbeard is that he used to be way better and had 600 health on his shield, and my response to that is just because the health points on the shield decrease does not change the fact that he is broken. You legitimately cannot one-tap a Blackbeard. No other operator in this game has the level of protection that he does from one-taps. As soon as you save an operator from headshots, the concept of this game just goes out the window. People say that 2-3 to three bullets on Blackbeard's shield is really not overpowered, but if you check the clip, it seems like the shield saved him from much more than 2. And in most cases, 2-3 to three bullets is the difference of winning and losing a gunfight. Another huge advantage to Blackbeard is his ability to peek and hold angles on windows. If you see a Blackbeard, you are not going to challenge him because you know damn well you are going to die. This can restrict rotations from bomb sites, uh, cutting off roamers, and the, the list just goes on and on. If you ask Kickstar, Skies, Laxings, who actually mains Blackbeard, and other Pro League players, they will probably agree that Blackbeard is just straight up broken. And these guys have more knowledge than I do, and they have more knowledge than basically all the community because they do this for a living. This is what they do. They know the ins, the outs, all the strategies, and if they say that something is overpowered and broken, they're most likely right. Now, let's just say that Ubisoft says, you know what, Blackbeard does break the concept of this game. What do they do about it? Do they completely remove him from the game? Do they try and revamp him? Or do they restrict his use from the Pro League? Um, in this recent update, we saw the removal of the Mass Yacht and Favela, so removing an operator does not seem to be out of the question now. I never expected maps to be completely off limits, so if someone were to tell me that eventually certain operators would be banned, I would not disagree. Like, I could definitely see it happening, so let me know your opinion on this in the comment section below. Uh, again, this is just my opinion, and I'm making this video for fun. I want to bring up some controversial topics and see what you guys think of them, so... Please keep the comments respectful, this is only a game and it's fun to talk about the what ifs and certain scenarios. Again, this is one of the first voiceover commentaries that I've ever done on this channel, and if you kind of see, I'm trying to branch out into other things than just ranked highlights, so if you liked this type of video and you want other discussions, please leave a like again, you showed crazy support on the last copper video, that series is definitely going to continue, and if you'd like to see more of these or more tips and tricks, please just let me know, leave a comment. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say, and as always, I'll be replying to everybody. That's all I got for today. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Another video will be coming Monday or Tuesday. I'm really trying to stick to this every other day, so we'll see how it goes, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.